to stop ourselves going mad, we work out little patterns for ourselves, favourite paths, linking places we know are safe. Once these stories get out and about, they can twist around. Funny, isn't it? How these rumours start, what they're based on. So the prisoner's going mad and he's going, no, 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 I can explain why I was drunk in charge. The custody sergeant's not having any of it because he's in a foul mood because he's got a hangover himself. So he tells him to shut up and he slings him in a cell. Well, when he goes to check on him two hours later, he said, it's your lucky day. The inspector's at his daughter's wedding, so he's going to be in a good mood when he comes back. I wouldn't bank on it, mate, says the prisoner. I'm the groom. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that none of Mr Chandler's officers would ever be on duty with a hangover. No, absolutely not. I run precision troops. They're highly trained and willing to serve. And uh, can also be very discreet when the need arises as well, can't they, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, cheers. Did you call that Ellen Bird? Not as such, no. You did call her. Well, I never seem to get the time, yeah. You only get one go on the swings, Reds. You might as well give them a push. White Harbour Lane, burglary, suspect on premises. Any unit deal? We'll take that, Paul. If you're serious, I'll sort it out. You leave it to me. That's you, sir, so you're gunner, eh? Not. Very discreet bringing that one up. I mean, we all like a drink down again, don't we? Your lads, eh? Hmm. You pillock. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Precision troops, hey Tom. <laughs> I noticed your burglary rate's been climbing for the last four months. You are going to address this. Mr. Charlotte put me on to it last week, sir. You should crack it very soon. Yes, I've got my best DC on the case. What oh, very good news. So, yesterday, sorry, a bit boring. <laughs> on the contrary, I really enjoyed it. Mr. Charlotte's really livened it up. Yeah, well, a free cabaret is always good. <laughs> Rinse him out, you've done a fortune. Is the world ready for an experiment like that? <laughs> well, it's like anything. You don't know until you try. Very true. Right, Mr. Mannion and his burglary rate. Yeah, I know, it's a boring job. I need someone I can rely on. Has anyone got any thoughts on this burglary by the river? Hello? So, Mr. Chandler's letting you do some work at last. He wants me to look at the burglary rate. What about my report? Well, Mr. Mannion's going to start throwing his toys around if we don't get the rate down. Right, I'm going to sort this out. So, who fancies a trip to the river? Danny? Paul? OK, I'll do it. Where do we go? I've cheesed, OK. Yes, Alex? Kate Spears, I hope you're keeping it professional. I beg your pardon? Looks like the pair of you have been getting on very well lately. I need to cut down the burglary rate. She's looking at it for me. Is that OK with you? Fine. Your problem is you've been knackered by the feminists. Women want you to make the first move, believe me. Mm. Oh, well, she's obviously not here. Let's just go. Ready, ready, babe. I don't think this is a good idea. Hello there. We're looking for uh, Miss Helen Phelan. Is she at home? I'm not here. She moved. Ah, there you go. Just sorry to have troubled you, miss. Um, do you know where she went? 
You know where she's moved to? Have you got a forwarding address for the post, maybe? Hold on. Look, let's just leave. She obviously doesn't know anything. Shh. You take. So you haven't got an address for her, then? No address. You police, you find her and give her letters. Don't worry, I take all the money out first. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, OK, we'll make sure she gets it. Thanks very much. Ah, oh, well, not known at this address. Well, there you go. I'll just put it down to experience. Not to worry. Reg? You're not off the UK yet, mate. It's a parking ticket. So? Car index. She's going to be yours, Reg. Terrible mess, isn't it? Look. They gem at this window here. Do you see? I arrived back to find those two constables knocking at the door. I wasn't very impressed. They were very disheveled. Not like you, DC Spears. You're very smart, lovey. Has the scene examiner been? Oh, yes. Nice girl, but very careless. She left this behind. I'll show you. I found this in the garden after she'd gone. Will you take it, Lennox? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. You see, I just hate her to get into any trouble. Made a mess, hasn't he? It's envy, dear. Some people just can't bear the idea of other people having nice things. Cheers. Well, if the scene examiner didn't leave it. Yeah, no, but why is Mr. Burglar a carrying white spirit? To clean up after him, not the way he left that place. Yeah. Well, could you send it to the senior examiner? I've got a load of research to do on the computer. Mm. Cheers, then. Right. Great. Now me and the old dear have got our prints all over it. Thank you very much. It's easy. Just call into the cab room and get Polly to do it for you. <laughs> it's inappropriate use of the PNC. That is a sackable offence. What who's going to find out? Look, rules are rules. Anarchy is only ever one step away. <sighs> oh, all right, I'll do it. But it'll have to be when cards empty. I don't want anyone knowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never ever said anything like that, did I? Couldn't comment, wouldn't dare. Better <clears throat> not. Kate. Alex, you're looking very serious. Forensics say Mrs. Flowers' burglar used an unusually shaped 9mm chisel. Is there anything on the database that matches? Well, I haven't had a chance to speak to forensics yet, Guff, so, um... Perhaps you could take a look now. Mm, would be good to get moving on this. OK, last month, out of 173 burglaries, 15 of them used what looks like the same tool. So, he's leaving a nice little trail. Which should help you when you actually get round to it. Duncan's birthday. Really? No, it's only thing to me. Go down if you want. Nah, I want to get started on this lot. Anyway, it's not as if they'll be missing me, is it? Wait, have you seen the way they look at each other? You're not still going on about her, are you? Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah, well, she's not bad looking, is she? Hey, mate. She's all right. I thought you had more sense, Superintendent, shagging a DC. <laughs> oh, well, all ended tears. I've seen it all before. Aye, right, right. Cheers, guys, eh? Oh, Happy sorry, birthday. Sorry, Cheers, mate. Happy birthday, yeah, mate. Thanks. Reg, someone's parked a van outside the back gates. Could you do a PNC check and make sure we're not going to get bombed? Oh, uh, well, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working too hard, Kate? Yeah, it looks like it. See you later. See you later. You never came down. I was busy. Nice of you all to let me know, though. I left you a note. Sorry. It's a burglary thing, yeah? No, I'll leave it, Mickey. How are you getting on? Seriously, how are you getting on? The bloke who did this job last night. Yeah? I think he's committed over 280 robberies right across North London, going back at least three years. Now, my only problem is he's working cross borough borders, so he's slipping through the cracks. You told Colin this? I wanted to make sure I had something solid before I wasted his time. That sounds pretty solid to me. And the only problem you got is... Well, how the hell do you catch someone like this? 
A profiler? Yeah, he's a friend of mine, Roy Stenning. He used to be in the job, but he works privately now. He's good. I'll give him a call. Well, where Mr Chandler mind? I mean, he's not going to be cheap. Mr Chandler is not running this investigation. Have you got a problem, Gov? You seem to be spending a lot of time with Mr Chandler lately. Don't even go there. That's got nothing to do with you, Gov. Yes, it has got something to do with me. If it's affecting the morale of my team. Roy Stenning, geographical profiler. My boss reckons he's going to find your burglar. Shouldn't he be examining things? Reg, terribly sorry can't see you right now. Mr Mannion's on his way. What time are refs? Five, sir. No, that's no good. Can you make 6.30? Sure. Thank you. So, we've got a male in mid to late 30s who would probably see himself as a loser. How'd you get that? The old lady's right. He's intimidated. Why else would he smash up such a nice house? So what about the white spirit? There were no fingerprints on it, right? Well, too many people handled it. Well, that's interesting. No more than that? Not yet. Can you find him? I'll need full reports of all the burglaries this guy has committed. I plug it all into my laptop, let the software do the maths. Boom. We've got a result. How long does that take? Well, hours rather than days, with enough information. I should be able to give you a small area which is likely to contain the place where the burglar lives. The choice was between you and Madame Mystery on Brighton Pier. I'm so pleased we chose you. <laughs> See how the crimes break down into five different territories over time? That's the easy bit. Now, when we add the software analysis, Pretty. Isn't it? <laughs> What's it doing? It's reading your burglar's mind. Come on. Look at this. It's a nightmare. The biggest maze you'll ever see. To stop ourselves going mad, we work out little patterns for ourselves. Favourite paths, linking places we know are safe. We save time by taking the shortest routes. Some of us drive, some of us take the tube, some of us walk. But once we've worked out a pattern that helps us get around, we stick to it, even if we're crooks. These red areas should be where the guy lived or worked when he committed the crimes. Should. Look, each one sits on a station. The software is predicting the guy lives on the north side of the river and probably travels by tube or train to the crimes. Alex, I can't believe you hired a profiler without asking me. You wanted a result. I thought I'd get one for you. I wanted steady progress. Fine. Thank you. Guy Mannion's been sniffing around again. You heard anything? Such as? Forget it. Roy, this is Mickey. He's interested in what we're doing. Oh, we? Hi, Mickey. OK, there's more to him than I thought. In August 1998, he set two arsons. In August 99, three. And in August 2000, another one. But they were never linked. If it's him, why does he do it so infrequently? And why only in August? Now, they normally torture place just to cover their tracks, but th this guy isn't thinking like that. And he's doing targets across London. Now, he could be a tube or a rail worker, but how would he get that amount of local knowledge? I think he's a drifter. We know London well. I'll keep looking. He changed his tools last month. Maybe other things have changed. Maybe he moved home then, too. Roy, it's August now. Is that why he was carrying the White Spirit? To set another fire? Mrs Flowers is a very lucky lady. You should go round to her house. Well, if you're gonna get hung, you're gonna get hung. Might as well have a tickle on the way down, eh? And don't worry about Chandler. I'll have a statement with him. Trust me. The centre of last month's burglaries. What happens here? Well, mostly railway signings, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few streets of houses. Well, if he's a drifter, you could start with any cheap B&Bs in the area. Got half an hour, Mickey? Are you seriously saying this is where you reckon the skeezer lives? Yep. I was just thinking, messing about with the PNC. It's not really worth all that fuss, is it? Well, it's clear abuse of the system and therefore worth quite a lot of fuss, actually. You're the boss. You're right there. Fair enough. Poor old Red Jay. Oh, um, there is one other thing. Yes? 
people are talking about you and Kate Spears. Are they? And what are they saying? The usual crap. Don't worry about it. Just thought you'd want to know. Good. Thanks for the tip-off. Well, hearing that did remind me of something. When you and me were at Hendon. Julie Cooper. Cos you made the right mess of it early, didn't you? Posing to her one minute, dropping her the next. I heard she left the job three weeks after she got on division. It was nothing to do with me. She was clinically depressed. Yeah, but it's... It's a funny thing, though. Once these stories get out and about, they can twist around. Then where are you? Oh, you really do like living dangerously, don't you? Well, you know me. Have a think about Reg that way. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'm okay. So you believe you can just throw in a few bits and pieces, press a button, and then all your problems are solved, yeah? Well, it looks that way. Well, I don't believe it. it sounds too easy. You trust this stunning geezer? Well, it can't hurt seas around. DC Webb, Sunny Hill, this is DC Spears. Can we have a word for us? Mickey. Mickey! Get the car! Oh, my
Ah, oh, Reg. Sir. Shall I come to your office? No need. I've decided to overlook it. It was obviously an oversight on your part. Uh, Don't do it again, will you? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Can I explain? Oh, find PC Taverner. Tell him to come and see me, will you? Sir. He said his name is Stevie Smith. He's been here on and off for about a year. What's he look like? Didn't get to see him properly. He's a very tall man, over six foot with long black hair and a very worried face. He looks old, but I don't think he is. When he isn't with you, where's he go? I didn't ask. He's a very quiet man from Scotland somewhere. Glasgow. I don't know. He, he seemed nice. Yeah, lovely bloke. He's really friends, family. I never met anyone. He mentioned children once. He's a very sad man. When Stevie was working, what did he do? He said he was a brickie for one of them big companies. Mickey, look. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, well, hello. Chisel, maybe? Maybe. Right, I'll call scene examiner, pass on description to you before. Someone will see him. In the meantime... Good call on Reg, sir. I think it makes sense. I'm not really bothered about Reg Hollis. I've been looking into the use of the PNC in general. And there's been far worse going on. Let me give you an example. You've made 42 checks on cars in the last three weeks, 36 of which were cars owned by women. I thought I'd sussed two female car thieves. Oh, save it. I am really not interested. I'm going to put someone on this, and they're going to call every one of those women. If one of those cars turns out to be not where you put it at the time of the check, you're in deep shit, my old mucker. There you go, Stephen Smith. Five and off the last ten months. Worked in Neathan, Harrow, King's Cross, Wilsden. Fight to bid him a month back. Where's that? And he's always on his own. Too quiet, never really fitted in. And in the last couple of months, he really started to lose it. Got into a couple of fights, ended up taking a swing at me. Gotta go. You know where it might be? Don't know, don't care. Who is it? On you go, then. So, you got a minute? Yes. Kate, come in. Have a seat. So, I hear you're getting close to our serial burglar, then. The forensics have confirmed a chisel found in Stevie's room was used in the Mrs. Flowers burglary. They're rushing the DNA through now. So you've got your man. What are you going to do about it? Roy Stenning's uh, coming up with a few ideas now. I thought Stenning was finished. Well, Mr. Cullen wants to stay on for the moment. <sighs> it's very Alex. Sorry? Well, he can never stop playing with the cards that won for him, even when the game's moved on. Haven't you noticed? Well, I... He'll fight to keep his experts on. But if this Stevie's on the run, any historical data is irrelevant. You see, I think you should be the one to move this on, don't you think? Well, I'll certainly do my best, sir. So have you heard the rumours? Rumours? About who? About you and I. Apparently some people think we're getting too friendly. Funny, isn't it? How these rumours start. What they're based on. Come in. You're 4.30. He's here. Thanks, Rachel. Two sacks. Great PA. Don't know what I'd do without her. So, Stenning can stay until he produces the goods. But you and I, we should keep talking about the Stevie character. OK? OK. Shut up, will you? I ain't gonna do it. What do you bet? Fiver? When? End of the week? Are well, you going to prove it anyway? We just got to look at Mr Chandler. He will have a big, fat, happy smile on his face. <laughs> Are you fishwives going to do any work today? Go. 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 Do you want to tell us exactly what happened, Mrs Fellows? It's about ten last night. Me and my husband were sitting down to supper. Um, Henry came down because he couldn't sleep. 
Well, all of a sudden, Henry starts screaming and, and pointing at the window. Go on, love, tell him. Oh. Are you all right, mate? You can tell us. There was a face. It must have been a prowler or something. I just got a glimpse of him. He had a really weird look on his face. Uh, what did you do? Well, my husband goes out after him, but he'd run off. And that was that. Apart from calming the kids down. Well, you should have called us. Well, you're gone. What could you do? But Henry wouldn't go to school this morning. And in the end, well, it was weird. He looked like a wolf. <laughs> he looked ragged. He, um, he was unshaven. And he had long, dark hair. The lab called about the DNA from the B&B. Turns out that Stevie is one Charles McGann from Glasgow. His house burned down in August 1997. His wife and young kids were trapped inside. I never found McGann. He's still in the frame for the fire. You're joking. What? Des Tavern had just reported a man fitting his description prowling a back garden on Eldred Avenue last night. He has every arson attack we know he's committed. Every house he hit was home to a family and kids. Children in an arson? No, thanks. We've got to find this bloke. All right, talk to this family, see what you can pick up. Any other ideas? Well, uniform looking out, but apart from that... Well, Roy Stenning's still working on it. Hasn't he gone home yet? He's been amazing. You can't stop him now. No, he's been all right. But from what I know about this type of profiling, it only works if there's an established pattern. Once the guy's on the run, it's different. Oh, come on, just because Mr Cullen hired him. Look, you don't need to prove you're the boss. OK. Take what you want. Thanks. But I need a favour in return. Supper. Tomorrow night. No work. We're going down a pub, get some grub. Anyone fancy? No, I'm going shopping. Need something to wear tonight. Mm. Anyone special? No, not really. Fair enough. Roy? No, I'll carry on working, thanks, also. All right, suit yourself. See you later. You're not having me running round like a blue-arse fly. I don't want a girlfriend. I'm solitudinous at heart. Get out of the car. Reg! I want you to um, have this. It's yours, you see. Your post from your old flat. Thank you. Yeah, well. How did you know where I was? Well, that is a parking ticket, you see. Uh, you might do well to look at it, actually. I don't think it's gone up yet. It's a good job I got hold of it. Anyone, uh, well, someone could have tracked you down, wouldn't it? I'm glad you found me again. You look like someone I could trust. Uh, well, I am, I suppose. Can I take down your um, phone number? Good lad. So go on then. What happened? You're right. They like it when you play the brute. You seen Kate, Mickey? Probably trying on some new knickers, Gov. Sorry? Gov, Mr Chandler is about to make a real dick of himself. And I want to know what you think about it. I don't think anything about it. And neither should you. Well, I don't want to sit near the boss's girlfriend. And how are you going to give her a slap if she's knocking off Mr Chandler? Exactly. OK, yeah, that's terrific. Yeah, thanks very much for your help. Thank you. Hello, love. How you doing? Fine. Eh, uh, you're the one that's checking up on me, aren't you? That's right. Bit of a waste of time, really, isn't it? Hey. Would you go? Please. Are you serious about Kate Spears? Why? If she's up for a bit on the side, fine. But any hint that she's getting serious, and you better put a stop to it right now. Now, wait a minute, Alex. You mess her around, and she's gonna be trouble. Make your point. 
I don't want emotional casualties on my team. But it's not your team, though, is it? Jack Meadows is the DCI. Oh, that's good coming from you. So if you've got any respect for the man... Well, he might be old school, but at least he recognises rank when he sees it. Sir. Um, Rachel, is Mr Chandler in? He's got Mr Mannion in with him. Oh, OK. He shouldn't be long. He won't mind. If you can get Hang the same on. results in areas one and four, then... Kate! Sorry, sir. Just wanted to bring you up to date. Right. Can it wait till morning? Of course. Or are you leaving now? Afraid so, sir. I've got a hot day. Come on. Well, Alex, I've solved the Mannion mystery. Yeah? Yeah, he wasn't sniffing around to criticise, just the opposite, in fact. He told me he's going to be collecting his carriage clock and uh, they're tipping me for the new Borough Commander's job. Congratulations. Thank you. I suppose this changes things with Kate Spears. If you're trying to impress at Borough Commander level, you can't be seen chasing round after pretty young DCs, can you? You know, and on and on like that, and she said she liked surprises, so I thought, ah, right, we could go for a bite to eat in Covent Garden and then go on the Millennium Night. They say it's uh, very romantic at midnight. Yeah, it? very romantic, no doubt. You all right, Daz? Yeah. And uh, listen to this, the other thing was, she said she likes the theatre, you see, so I thought, ah, Right, there's the open air theatre in Regent's Park, we could go there. But then I thought it might be raining, you know. Yeah, yeah, it might, yeah. And then I thought she might like something else, something a bit more idyllic, you know. And I thought, right, a taste of the English countryside. Take her to the city farm round the corner. Nice animals, too. Well, I would have thought you were animal enough for any woman, Reg. Yeah, well. Here we go. Well, you better start liking it. This is all your fault. I wouldn't have said that exactly. Mr Chandler's not as clever as he thinks he is. Quick trip to the photo copier. And we're all sorted. You stay here. Thank you very much. So, should we have some wine? I think so. You choose. You have my undivided attention. I'm good. So, Guy Mannion, was he pleased with you? I don't think Guy Mannion's ever been pleased about anything in his life. He always looks as if he's got an ulcer to me, and he's eating too many apples. Apples? <laughs> Where do you get that from? <laughs> don't know why I said it, but you know what I mean, though. Strangely, yes, I do. They're jealous in love, eh? Works for me. <laughs> Here, look, uh, Des, do you fancy a pint? Or even two, both on me? Bloody hell. I've got to get myself out of the predicament, mate. Remember? Sorry. And we're making them sound like the Adams family of cultures, because <laughs> they are. No, they sound lovely. Mm. I wish my parents were still alive. Yeah, I suppose I should be grateful, really. So, your brother, why don't you see him? Well, if I'm honest, I suppose I envy him. Really? Yeah, he'd laugh if you heard me say that works in a frozen pea factory in a sight form than he has been for ten years. <laughs> Sounds thrilling. Mm. Shall we go back to my house? No, there's a thought. Could I have the bill, please? Here you go. Aren't you coming? I'd like you to. 
Sorry, I can't. I could do the nightcap. Keep me company. Uh, I'm really tired. I should go home. No. Please don't. A friendly neighborhood burglar setting a fire, but they didn't get the kids out. That'll be your fella, eh? You can come and have a look if you want. Okay. Are you early, ain't you? Or couldn't you sleep? Calm down, children. Mickey, have you seen Mr. Charlie this morning? No. Nah, he's probably overslept. Mind you, he has been working terribly hard recently. Oh, piss off. Sleeping your way to the top, never a great idea. Good morning, Danny. Morning, sir. Mickey. Sir. Kate, you heard about the arson last night. MIT is setting up an incident room here. I want you back on the burglary rate. I was going to take Roy down to the scene to have a look. No need. But I thought you wanted to... I want you to end your association with Roy Stenning here and now. I want a clean handover when MIT get here. And that's it? That's it. Screw you. You what? If anyone asks, I'm out on a call. So, you definitely could have been on Mercer Avenue at that date. N no, I know it was six weeks ago, but if you could possibly remember. You want to ask your husband? Fair enough. OK, so, uh, you think you were there? Thanks very much. No, just routine. Thanks for getting back to me. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Get anything? It's a family house. You can see into the windows from an alley at the back. What are you saying about the size of this city? You're Charlie, you've lost everything, you've even lost your name. So how do you stop yourself being washed away completely? You need a home. He of all people needs a home. That's what the B&B was all about. So where was his home when he wasn't at the B&B? He must have some kind of base. I can take out the crimes he committed when he was living at the B&B. See what's left. So you definitely were there about 3.30 on Wednesday the 2nd? Nope. That's good. This bloke keeps moving. He lives in transit. So what's his ideal hiding place? What kind of place does the ultimate drifter find attractive? There. Railways. I'll get some help. Sorry. Yeah, I got too much on. Well, get over it, yeah? What's that? Kate reckons she knows where this arsonist is. She wants help picking him up. So we going? Hello. Hello. Tick has died last night, man. So she should tell MIT and stop trying to look good for Mr Chandler. Oh, I think you'll find she's got Mr Chandler well in hand. Where does she say? Where did she say? You're sure? OK, that's good. Glad to help the police. Thanks, love. I owe you one. Cheers, mate. 
Look. Well, somebody's been in here. Yeah, it's probably just kids, isn't it? Size 11. Yeah. Mickey, you first. You're having a laugh on you down here. <laughs> Joking. See our Oscar from DC Spears. Go ahead, Kate. I'm in the marshalling yard under the old Canley Junction. Can you send us a dog unit for a search? <laughs> Charlie. I'll call you Charlie. How long have you been in London, Charlie? And you've been working as a builder. Your landlady told us you were from Scotland. She told us to make sure you were okay. I think she likes you, Charlie. She told us you've got kids. Don't you miss them? How old are they? Five, six? You've got two, haven't you? They're dead. What happened? Can't remember. Did you kill them? No. They died in a fire. Did you light it? No, I didn't. Was it your wife? Has she been unfaithful? No. Was it something to do with you? Did you do it? No. But if you didn't do it, who did? I've got to hand you over to the murder squad soon. Do you want them to charge you with killing your own children? Well, there's these two brothers. Gary and... Lee. I'll owe me some money. Why? I had a wife. I had kids and had a house. But, but I wanted more than I should have. I tried to hang around with the brothers, but they were um, too flash. You were out of your depth. You ended up owing the money. They burned my house down. And you just walked away? You loved your family, didn't you, Charlie? Yes. So why did you set those fires? Why did you try to do it to other people? I get down here, start carrying a hood, occasionally do a job. I was okay. But now and then I'd see a family. And I'd watch them. And watch them and watch them. Because they remind me how everything solid had melted on me. Just because I get a little bit cocky and play out of my league for a while. Desmond! Your story checks out. Or at least we can't find the holes in it. Did Sally, sir? No. 
I think you were lucky. And let me give you a warning. Forget Julie Cooper. Forget Hendon. Forget you ever met me before you turned up here and found me as your super. Things are different now. You take me on, and I'll bury you. Yes, sir. Now, why aren't you out driving my area car? Just on me way, sir. Right, so Charles McGann has confessed to at least six arsons and a string of burglaries as long as your arm. So congratulations, everybody. Well done, Kate. And you, Roy, you've certainly opened my eyes for once. It's not the only thing she's opened. Well, come on, guys, this is a significant result. I want to buy this fella a beer, so if anyone else wants a drink on my account, you'd uh, better get down there while I'm still feeling generous. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Can you come down? Uh, you coming, Kate? It's all right, we can get a separate table for you and Mr Chandler. Kate, you OK? Have I messed up, Mickey? No. I'd have forgotten all about it next week. Something else would come along. You know how it is. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Isn't it, Matt? Oh. Thank you. Well, Matt, are you going to lend me the money or not? He's old Bill. 